I've played World of Warcraft for over 15 years, but lately it just doesn't feel like the MMORPG experience I fell in love with all those years ago. So now I'm trying Final Fantasy XIV for the first time and documenting my journey through the game. Today is day six. What's up everybody, welcome to day six of this incredible adventure. I can't believe I've only been playing this game for six days. It honestly feels like months and I feel like I've made so many friends and played for so long and done so much and it's not even been a week. Uh, so yeah, thanks again as always for all your support. It honestly shocks me more and more every day. As always, spoiler warning from here on out, I will be showing parts of the game as I progress through it so there may be spoilers for the main story. So yeah, let's get into day six. So everyone has been saying for so long, because I've, I've been talking about the combat a fair bit, that the, the Lancer is, is okay, but a little bit slow, but it starts to pick up at level 30. And you know, we're at level 30. So I went to do the level 30 job quest and my expectations were like, okay, the, 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 the Lancer job quests were drying out a little bit in my opinion. They were getting a little bit boring, um, but this one kicked it right back to day one when I first got here everything came together there was like this big circular experience that tied it all off i mean it might continue but it felt very like you know anime end of season and it was so good so this was the quest to become a dragoon and now this this uh this quest with our old rival really reminded me of like final fantasy 7 and 8 like where you find your 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 nemesis your rival and you you go back and forth with them the whole game and then you finally meet them and they've betrayed you or they've done something wrong or they reveal their true nature and then there's this big cinematic epic scene and it did feel like that right from day one when he charges at you with the lance and you're just a nobody walking into the the lancer center and it closes up here where he's gone on this killing rampage it's it's such a good scene if no one has played the uh the lancer class i mean obviously i have one for spoilers but if no one's played the lancer class i highly recommend playing through it just to be a part of this experience and I'm so glad that people told me to stick with it because I was finding it a little dull at the start, but so worthwhile. And the fight itself, I'd, I'd say this is outside of the, the dungeons and the, the trials. This is probably the best one-on-one -on -one fight I've had. It was it was really cool. He did enough to keep you on your toes. He actually did quite a bit of damage. There was enough going on to make it feel like a, an epic duel. And then we got the ending that I wasn't really expecting. I thought it would go a bit tame and there'd be like a really tame ending of like, I'm gonna hand myself in and forgive myself, but no, it was it was pretty dark. There it is. F's in the chat. And then with that out of the way, we got a new lance and a new ability, which was, I think it was like a buff. I can't remember. I think it was like a, a buff and a piece of armor, which is cool. And then it was time for Eye of the Dragon, which everyone has been telling me is the Dragoon starter quest. So I was convinced this place was called uh, Isengard, as in Lord of the Rings, you know, taking the hobbits to Isengard but it's not, that's not what it's called. But we went there anyway. <laughs> so yeah, once we was in Ishgard, we learned that there was a ancient Ishgardian, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, relic that had been stolen, like the relic of the dragon. And then there's this epic like jump landing scene, reminded me so much of Freya from Final Fantasy IX, who had like the cool jumping ability. But then you learn that the relic, the relic wanted somebody else and that somebody was our character. And there it is, Dragoon unlocked. This was such an epic moment. I, I thought it would be like so much later in the game that I unlocked this, but yeah, here it is. The inner dragon grows stronger and I got the jump ability. I was so excited. I literally, I, I, I just all I wanted to do was just run into the forest and try it. Um, I didn't even know where it was on my hotbar, but I just ran to the forest. After struggling for a long time, I realized you have to actually equip the gem. I remember somebody in the comments saying this ages ago. Um, so thank you. Yeah, so I equipped the gem and that turns you from the Lancer to the Dragoon. That is an incredible system. I'm a huge fan. And then it kind of rejigged the hotbar around. But there it is. I can see the jump ability right there. And this was this was the best moment of this day. Just running in. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love the Dragoon right now. And then I was, I was just chilling. Uh, I just finished the Dragoon quest and yeah, I wasn't really doing much. I think I was just like answering comments on YouTube. And then someone turned up from um, from the Discord and said, hop in. And I was like, hop in what? And yeah, this happened. We went in a flying car and what? <laughs> so I'm guessing this is like some something from Final Fantasy 15. But I've obviously 
I've seen people fly around on mounts, but I've never experienced it myself. And I've never seen the car before. So it was really cool for someone to come and just turn up and just take me on a little flight around. We literally just flew around the whole town. Um, and it was just a crazy experience because, I mean, obviously I wasn't driving, but it was so cool just to see a cool mount and to see what flying looks like. And yeah, it's just another level of something crazy in this game that is just constantly surprising me. And I know people that, you know, are at Endgame have seen all this before, but there's a lot of people that comment that say, I've just started too, or I'm literally on the same journey as you. I'm on like my third day, my first week. So hopefully you can see this as well and look how cool it looks. And hopefully it, it, it shocks and surprises you as much as it has done me. Obviously there's, there's flying mounts in World of Warcraft, but I think because the graphics are so good in this, the immersion is just so much better. And then I read some comments a while ago and people said you can get your Chocobo to fight for you when I posted the you know, they're getting my chocobo, learning how to ride it. Uh, so I went and bought some of those uh, those greens and literally for a day or two, I've had those and not been able to summon him. And then I realized there's a quest here. So thanks to the people in the Discord that um, pointed me to this. So yeah, I went and did the um, the quest to learn how to fight with your chocobo, which is it's, it's really cool. I think, I think like little things like this, like this is obviously a very small system in the game. And maybe as they're adding them over the years, they, they seem quite small and they seem quite... I don't know, these little additions that keep adding in. But when you're looking at a game like this, that's got 10 years of content and you're looking at it for the first time, it's, I've never had this where there's just too much to do and everywhere you go, it's, it's good quality, cool features that they're not the main part of an area. They're just something you can go and do and go and get and no one pushed you in that direction to get them. I think a big contrast, if you're someone like me who played World of Warcraft for years, you there are features that they put in the game and they hype those features up for nine months and then they release the feature and then the feature's a small addition and then you're bored of it in a few weeks because you've waited nine months for it and then the new expansion comes out and they probably delete that feature and that's what i've dealt with for 15 years but in this it just seems like it's cumulative they're just adding feature on feature on feature and building a huge world and a huge game which i mean why, why wouldn't you do that right I, I, I'm, I'm completely in awe at how much there is to do but yeah, did this quest and now Shadowfax is no longer a mount, but a, a trusted warrior and companion. So yeah, huge, huge fan of this. I've, I've pretty much got him out all the time now. I don't know if that's normal if you're supposed to have him fighting for you all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like this. And then I did some more of the main story. So this was dancing, apparently. So yeah, we met the, um, what were they called? The Sylphs? I think, I'm not sure if that's pronounced right, but yeah, these, the little forest fairy type creatures and you had to go and deliver your envoy message to them and make friends with them and gain their trust. And it was all about, I think, that their, their the elder leader had gone missing or been captured and you had to do, there's a lot of quests. It took me a few hours to get through because I was doing other stuff in the background. But yeah, this was quite cool going in, gaining their trust. And obviously you got to meet these cool pair again, um, proper main story when you see these two turn up. And I, I feel like this is now leading to a like a dungeon or a trial because that's my next quest but i haven't done it yet and then i realized i haven't seen any of the healers or the tanking classes i've completely ignored that whole part of the game so i thought i'm gonna go see what that's like because the ability to switch classes is so easy so i went and had a look and i kind of asked a few people what's what's a cool one to play and a few people were saying gladiator is quite fun so and it turns into paladin i think so yeah i went and picked up the gladiator starting quest and I really, really like this. I don't know why, but I mean, obviously my channel name is Medieval Marty and I play a lot of like uh, Dark Souls, medieval games. So yeah, the sword and shield thing actually felt really good. And I really, really enjoyed the combat more than anything else so far. A lot of people are saying that you get more than enough experience on the main story to level two classes to 30 or 50, I'm not sure. And like my character is well over leveled for the main story now. So I thought it would be good to level a second one up. And I'm kind of torn right now between Thief and Gladiator because I'm really, really enjoying them both. Um, I'll probably play something else tomorrow and really enjoy that too though. So <laughs> who knows? And then this happened. Um, yeah, I can already see it in the comments. Yeah, what? He's never going to get to the last level. He's never going to finish the story. And you're right. You're right. There's so much to do. So I tried mining. I did. I tried mining because, you know, if I'm going to be going to play as a gladiator, I'll try mining, see if that's a cool feel. And it's really cool. It's really cool. It's like it's like botany, but with with pickaxes. It's, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a critical guy normally, but I'm finding it hard to find stuff I'm not enjoying. Most stuff 
I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with. I pick up a new class. I enjoy it. I pick up a new um, crafting thing. I enjoy it. And it's so strange that everything's a little fun so far. Maybe it's I'm still in the Hollywood phase, but I'm not finding much tedium and, and forced grind. I'm, I'm trying not to burn out on content, so I'm I'm not. I'm, I'm releasing these videos daily and I'm playing a lot, but I'm trying not to just do all of the main story in one day or all of a certain thing in one day to the point where it gets boring. So I thought I'll do something fun. So I just put in the discord. I'm sitting on this seat. Does anybody want to come hang out? And I just got to know a few people in the game. I made a few friends, added a few people as friends and yeah, just just hung out with people. Really, people were showing off their their cool glamour sets. People were showing off their cool, like cool weapons and their classes that they leveled up and it, it was just really cool to see things i saw um whole races of people that i'd never saw before i'd saw um just things i'd never seen i got a chance to ask like what why does this guy have a book like why what shield what class is that with the big shield and it was it was really interesting just to see and hear from people that have been playing the game for a, for a long time and what started as a small gathering of four or five people it really got out of hand it really got out of hand i was just standing there and i've never felt so welcomed and so supported in a game this community is the best thing i've ever seen I, I, i'm I, I clearly like a loss for words but i've literally spoken to most of these people as well these aren't just like random people they're people i'm really getting on with and it's it's crazy i've probably got more friends in this game than i had in wow over 15 years which is crazy to say so yeah i'm probably going to end the video here i like to end the videos on like a, on a good positive wholesome area and this was definitely the most wholesome and and f memorable part of the day I, I left this day just feeling warm and fuzzy and just had a really good time and i hope that same energy can be spread throughout to all all you watching and i hope you get that same you know that same good vibes i i do want to say as well i'm not going to be releasing a video tomorrow so sunday i'm having to either work late or get up really early to get the editing done to get these out every day so tomorrow i just have a few plans and like friends and family i just got to keep that day free so i just can't get a video out but just know if a video ever doesn't come out it's not because i don't want to play the game it's just because either there's something happening that day that's taking up too much of my time or i just can't get all the content and all the editing done in one day but if the hours are free in the day there will be a video if i'm ever not releasing a video it's just because i can't find the time not because i don't want to play i'm having this has been one of the best weeks in gaming that i've ever had it's a mixture of one of the best games i've ever played and one of the best communities i've ever met other than that, take care of yourselves on Sunday as well. Make sure you take some time for yourselves and I'll catch you with day seven on Monday.